Thanks, Bree. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Today, we're gonna be talking about posing for dancers. Future me here telling you that I filmed the first part of this video in slow-mo and I didn't realize it, but that's fine because now I'm editing it and uh, realizing all my mistakes and it's wonderful. I love this YouTube life. So dance posing can be a little bit hard for dancers that have never done photo shoots before or photographers who don't know technique. And there's nothing wrong with this, but in order to make the shoots easier, um, there are several things you can do to make the dancer feel at ease and make sure that they are actually enjoying the shoot, which will make for better posing in the long run. Now, one of the dance moves that I recommend not starting with right off the bat is an arabesque. And the reason that the arabesque is so hard is because it involves so much technique that it just really gets complicated and the dancer is never going to be satisfied the first shot, absolutely not. So in order to set yourself up for a good shoot, you wanna build that confidence in the dancer. And if you start with an arabesque, you're not going to be able to do that because they're never, ever, ever going to like it. You kind of have to know what you're doing or the dancer has to be able to warm up and get the confidence first before you start doing the complicated posing. Now back to past me. I would say it's probably a little bit more important for the dance photographer to actually know posing versus the dancer because the dancer can be directed and they can be corrected. They're used to that. But coming up with poses on the spot is not easy. It's not an easy thing. Say your name. My name is Jack Aquino. Okay, so what is the hardest dance pose for you? For me, personally, it's definitely the firebird. It's, firebird? Yeah. Firebirds are hard. They're really hard. They're like, they're like really, you really need to know how to lift your front leg too. It's, it's like- Show us a firebird, go. Okay. <laughs> Show it one more time. Show it one more time. Firebird. It's a hard dance pose. Okay. Graylin, what's your favorite dance pose? Uh, attitude. Attitude? I don't know. Speak loud, it's raining. Attitude. Uh, attitude, okay. So, if you like attitude, can you demonstrate one? Nice. Okay. <laughs> now, what's the hardest dance pose for you? Like. Uh, Speak loud. Really high kicks in the back. High kicks in the back, so like arabesques? Yeah. Yeah, arabesque, if that makes sense. What is the hardest dance move? Um, probably an arabesque thing. Arabesque for you? Yeah. What's um, your hardest pose? Probably arabesque. Your least favorite dance pose? Arabesque. Why? Because it's really hard to get your positions correct. Yeah, arms. and like arms? Arms and it's like your legs, just having it even. Explain the legs for me. What do you need for the legs? For the legs, you have to be like reaching up on your standing side to make sure that you're not like crunching your hips. Yep. And you have to make sure that your back leg is extended and in line. So th there's a lot going into it. Yes. And your shoulders, and your arms, and your head position, and your back and chest, and the connection between that and your legs, which it makes it ridiculous. Now, you have to show an arabesque. <laughs> you can PK if you want. Go. Yeah, there we go. Okay, awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. So as you can see, arabesque is actually one of the harder moves for dancers to achieve during a shoot. It's very, very common. Now that's not the same for every dancer, but arabesque is full of technique. The arabesque is super hard to achieve in a photo because every detail has to be perfect. And if you start with that, then the dancer is going to automatically think in their mind, 
I'm not good enough to do this move. They, they are very, very talented individuals. They can take correction, but you have to know what's going on with that arabesque in order to achieve a good arabesque photo. Let me show you what I mean. Now, this is a perfect example of a arabesque. Now, remember, this is just an example of a pose that is super hard. There are other poses, but this is a very technical pose and it's a perfect example for this case. Now, the things that the dancer are thinking about during this start with the bottom foot. Now, the bottom foot, the dancer needs to get onto their box, which is the bottom part of the point shoe here. They need to stretch their ankle fully. They also need to make sure that this leg right here is super straight. They also need to pull up in this leg and they need to make sure that this back leg is also super straight. They need to make sure this foot is winged and pointed. This is a very important part of the line. The shoulders both need to be down and relaxed. The relaxation part is important. The dancer's front arm also needs to be super straight. However, it also needs to relax in this position. You can be straight and relaxed at the same time. The hand needs to be relaxed and the dancer's hand needs to be right in line with their eyes. Then their hip needs to be in the correct position because if that hip is raised too much, it puts them in a weird, awkward, off-balance position and it's technically not correct as well. They also need to be using their back to pull up this leg. They need to be pulling up on their supporting side. They need to have their rib cage in. This hand also needs to be super relaxed. And as you can see, there's a lot of things that they need to think about all at once, and that's not even all of them. There's a huge portion with the shoulders that I'm missing and that I, I haven't gone over with you guys, but this is an example of a photo that is very, very technical and hard for the dancers to get right on the first try. Now, does all of this mean that you can't do an arabesque photo? Absolutely not. There are ways to do it and you just have to know the technique behind it and how to instruct the dancer. But uh, dancers are very self-conscious all the time. So maybe starting with that is not the best idea. The way that I start my shoots is the simplest poses that I can think of to give them confidence. And it starts with either a lunge or maybe a tondu, something with the legs on the ground, something that they can do easily and make sure that the technique is proper without having to overthink everything. Then once you've done all of the stuff where you have like the tondu on the ground in front of you, behind you, beside you, then you can move on to, okay, we're gonna lift one leg. We're gonna take it up to 45 degrees. Then you can take it to the higher angles and go, all right, let's go into the arabesque because you have already achieved a bunch of photos. Their confidence is boosted, your confidence is boosted. And then you know that you can get the best out of them and they know you're gonna bring the best out of them. So what's your name? Alice Winters. Alice Winters, okay. so. What is your favorite dance pose? Doesn't have to be from this photo shoot. Um, Alyssa Cohn. You like Alyssa Cohn? Show me. Good. Now, what do you like about that dance pose? I have flexible hips, so. Yeah, so it <laughs> makes it easier for you, yeah. right. I'm Fiona Winters. Okay. Favorite dance pose, what is it? I like arabesques. You like arabesques. Everyone else disagrees. Just so you know. Show us an arabesque. Shh, don't say that. Go. It's actually pretty good. Some things to work on, but what do you think one correction is for it? Uh, this one's a little too bent, I think. Yeah. So in conclusion, start with the easier dance poses, give the dancer some confidence, give you some confidence, and move on from there. And then if you want to attempt the harder poses, the poses that are technical, then attempt those at the end of the shoot when the dancer's already warmed up, already confident, and you can explain to them, all right, this is gonna take a few times, which is completely fine. It happens to me all the time. Huge thank you to Academy of Russian Ballet for letting me come in and film with some of your dancers while we're doing the photo shoot. I really appreciate it. I love you guys, and I cannot wait till next time. Go ahead and hit that notification bell hit the subscribe button and like the video. It really helps me out. 
I'm trying to get to my first goal of a thousand subscribers. So help me out and hit that like button. I love you guys. I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Peace.